the personality of this particular cottonmouth is it's a little um, interesting. As soon as zookeepers removed it from the box, I understood why Dustin Smith described the cottonmouth that way. It was feisty. With all of the venomous snakes, our main goal is safety. And the way we, we achieve that is by using snake hooks and tubes. The keepers had to coax the snake into a tube so veterinarian J.B. Minter could examine it. It takes some skill to, to be able to coax that snakes in there, kind of read the snake's behavior to make sure that it's not going to come and turn towards you. Only five zoo staff members have the training it takes to safely get the snake into the tube and on the table for the exam. That was intense. <laughs> can you, can someone get the end of that? Yeah. If you want to put some gloves on, you can help. Are you serious? You can, you can help hold the body right here. Okay. Dr. Minter needed to determine why this four foot cotton mouth keeps shedding excessively. First, he checked the skin and treated some lesions. You feel um, like you're helping? No. <laughs> Am I helping? Yeah. Next, he had to draw blood from the animal as well. So the vessel, obviously, we can't see. I just know where it's supposed to be. In less than 10 minutes, the whole snake procedure wrapped up. I trust Shane. Look at yeah. her. That look at that. She's got she's got a firm grip. I she's, am. she's got a little sweat on her brow, this so she knows she's working hard. <laughs> The snake's not going anywhere. <laughs> Dr. Minter's prognosis for the snake is promising, but more tests may be needed. From the exam, it looked like a healthy snake. That doesn't mean their work is done. No, actually, we have a rattlesnake we're getting ready to do in about five minutes. Another day on the job. At the North Carolina Zoo. I love this job. Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News.